I knew that it was going to be a long day today, but I did not know exactly how long it was going to be. <laughs> I thought I did. I thought I uh, had a good idea of how long it was going to be, but I was wrong. I was wrong. I worked five hours this morning at my delivery job. And right as soon as I was done with that, I drove straight to my new job. And I thought that I was going to work from noon to six. Six hours. So that I, you know, would have worked five hours at my old job, six hours at my new job. I thought like six o'clock was like the standard go home time. For everybody there, which it kind of is, uh, around that time, you know, five, six, seven, around that time. Uh, it gets to be about five, four thirty, something like that, and my boss is like, "I'd like to give you the chance to work a full week, so you can either, you know, you can stay late or come in Saturday and Sunday." And I decided to stay late because I don't want to work, you know, a crazy full week and then work, you know, weekend on the weekend only to be let into another, you know, week. So I stayed until nine, nine o'clock. Worked five hours at my old job, then worked nine. At my new job. Oh my goodness. I was feeling tired about 2.30 in the afternoon. And I just, I had to keep going. And I did not actually eat a single thing all day until about 7.30 when I had some granola bars. And I was kind of munching on those type of things. Till I left. Uh, but oh my goodness. Then after that. I went to the new house. Dropped off some stuff. Uh, clothes primarily. And. Then I went to Walmart. To get tape. Because I need tape to tape up. The box for my computer. And stuff to make sure the bottom doesn't fall out. And then I went to. The Burbank Library to drop off my two books that I had finished. Then I came back to Glendale and went to the Glendale Library to drop off the play that I got for my class from the Pasadena Library. But they're like hooked up so I, you know, I can drop it off here and it'll still get back to where it needs to go. Ugh. And now it is, it's almost midnight. I have to turn around and do the same thing tomorrow, work-wise. Not like, you know, I won't be going back to, you know, the library, the libraries and stuff like that. But uh, I, I honestly don't know how I'm going to do this. I've never done anything like this before in my life. What is this going to be? Let's see. 14 hours a day? Something like that. 14 times 5. I don't know. That's over 60 hours. Close to 70 or something like that. But I I just... Oh my word. Just the idea just freaks me out. It's good, the good thing is it's not strenuous work. I'm not, you know, exerting myself to crazy degrees. And, you know, I'm not going to, like, pass out from muscle exhaustion or something like that but dang it man like that's a lot of work to be doing every day like how many hours that is Four, no, 14 yeah <laughs> my, my brain I need to sleep uh but yeah it's it's insane but my first day is out of the way for my new job 
And so that is a huge milestone to have behind me now. And so I'm, I'm very happy about that. And I'm one day closer to moving, which will be more burdens lifted off of my shoulders. And, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, things are starting to, you know, tick off the old checklist, which is good. Uh, this weekend will be the most glorious weekend in my entire life. <laughs> Not really, but it's going to be so good. I will just, I'll be in a new place. I'll essentially be done with my delivery, uh, delivery driver job. And I'll just be able to settle in to my regular time at work. My new job. Nine to six. You know, I won't have to get up super early. Won't have to stay super late. It will be so good. But for the next four days, I will die. I will just be dying every day. Uh, so yeah, that be because of that, I'm going to call it here. So I can pass out shortly uh thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys after day two tomorrow